Hi. So I'm in Hong Kong. I'm having a good time. Okay, this is going to show what a day my life is like as a student at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Okay, this might be the most crazy thing about living in Hong Kong. Walk outside my room. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I was born in a place called Wisconsin. It's known for cheese and beer. But now I'm in a place that's known for skyscrapers and dim sum. Very different. But what else is different? In this video, I'll show you a few differences I've noticed between life in these two amazing places. The first difference I noticed is... Walk outside my room. Oh my... Bravo! When you record you? <laughs> Look at that view, baby. Oh, I'm recording a video. What's your name? My name is Marcel. This is the homie Marcel. We became good friends this semester, and he's one of the coolest guys I know. We just went hitchhiking in Thailand, so subscribe if you want to see that adventure. What is your favorite thing about Hong Kong? Mountains. So the hikes you can go on every day. So pretty. <laughs> Camping ready. We're going tonight. A few people are joining us. We are going to have a splendid time. Yeah, that's the beauty of Hong Kong. Yeah, so after class, we're going straight to a hike. We're going to a campsite, and it's going to be... Okay, so I'm walking to class, and how would I explain Hong Kong to someone who's never been in their life? Okay, so here's how I'd explain it. It's the skyscrapers of New York City. It's the greenery and flora of Hawaii. And then it's the mountains, but at sometimes more jagged than the Appalachia Mountains. This place is absolutely gorgeous. Noodles. Dairy. This pack of cheese is $8. That is a lot of money for a pack of cheese. That's a mountain right there. That is actually a mountain. Now it's time to get in all the good luck, all the happiness all the he good health, all the prosperity. Beatbox is a beatbox organization based in Hong Kong. Okay, so I'm editing the video and I want to do some rapid fire questions because I think they may provide some value to you, the viewer. So I'll start with why did I choose to study in Hong Kong? And that is a very good question and there's a lot of reasons like it's a good business school, there's good just school overall, I mean, classes are in English, I have a strong alumni base in the city, it's a global city, there's a lot of things I could talk about. But the biggest reason for me was that I felt like it allowed for me to write my own story, to tell my own story and do something that's a little bit different. And for me, that was a differentiating factor. Second question is, is Hong Kong safe? So from my personal experience, I have felt very safe. For example, walking at night with my headphones on downtown, I have never really felt like I need to like look around my back. So from my personal experience, I felt safe, but Others may differ from that. How have I liked classes and professors? And overall, I would say everything's good, but not great. And I think my professors at my home university are better. Next, have I made friends? Yes, I think I've made a handful of people that I'll stay in touch with for the rest of my life. Have my chopstick skills improved? And I think they have. I think I probably went from bronze FIFA card to maybe like top like upper tier bronze, so I'm like, at, like I started at like a 62 and now I'm like a 69 or 7. Do people speak English in Hong Kong? And my answer to that would be, depends. The younger they are, the more likely they are to speak English. So under 25 is a good chance that they have some English skills, 
but once you talk to older people, there's a good chance that they probably just speak Cantonese. And then the last question is, would I want to live here after graduation? And what I would say to that is after talking with expats, I think starting my career in the United States makes the most amount of sense, but maybe my later 20s or 30s, I would consider moving to Hong Kong if I was working at a global company and they had an office in Hong Kong as overall, I've really liked my experience. So some rapid fire questions and let's get back to the video. Done with my uh, entrepreneurship class and now meeting up with some friends and we are going to walk two hours to this really amazing campsite and we're gonna stay the night. No classes tomorrow, so it's gonna be a fun time. One of the coolest things about this university is that we have an amazing train system connected basically at the base of the university. So it's really easy access to get downtown Hong Kong and it really makes travel around the city quite, quite amazing. Okay, this is fascinating. The restaurant that's right behind us is right near our university and it's right by the metro station. And I'd always wondered why university students don't go to this restaurant because it's quite nice. And I recently found out it is because the owners of this restaurant during the protest in 2019, they had said some basically remarks that in support of China. And so now since then, it seems as if the students have had done some sort of boycott against the restaurant super fascinating so that's why you don't really see many chinese university of hong kong students at this restaurant let's go yes sir yes sir This semester has been a blessing. To live abroad in a place as amazing as Hong Kong is truly special. Among all the differences between life in Wisconsin and life in Hong Kong, I have found that joy and friendship exist everywhere.